wasn't expected, but you know, we were hoping for something positive, which is um, ironic coming from Tampa Negative. But I don't know what number we, we debuted at, but it was pretty much more than we expected. And I do have to thank our fans for it more than anything else. That is, is, is a very interesting and complex question. I don't know. All I can say is when I was much younger and uh, cassette tape came out, I know that the whole recording industry was in, like, up in arms. Well, now they can, you know, they can record music, blah, 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 this and that. Um, I feel that musicians and bands and companies, record companies, will find a way to adapt. How? I don't know. But in an oddly positive sense, um, let's just say, looking at the fan base of Typo Negative as compared to Madonna, I believe that since she's so much more successful and more beautiful and satanic than I am, that probably Madonna's fans... I'm just going to throw this number around. We'll download, like 80% of our fans will download her music. Whereas it's almost beneficial because Typo has such dedicated fans that they, that they want the actual product. So I would imagine that probably only 50 to 60% of our fans would download. So it does work in our favor. You have to go with the flow. Part of the reason that Typo Negative has been so successful, um, besides threatening the right people, um, is because we've really not changed our image over 17, 18 years. I, I love Metallica, I think they're a great band, but when they cut their hair off, I thought, I kind of felt it was a sign like they didn't have to try anymore. I mean, People say that, you know, type of negative has become heavier. I don't know if, that's, if that means, like, music or body weight. Because we've all gained about 20 pounds. But I believe that a band should have an image. Like, once you take your image for granted, it kind of shows the fans, I take you for granted. So that's why, you know, I don't cut my hair. I attempt to look the same without facial hair, long hair as I did 20 years ago. If you want to diverge from that fucking image, you know what? You're jerking off your own fans. You know, because without our fans, we are nothing. I mean that. I'm not, I'm not putting down Metallica. I hate to use them as an example, but I, I was kind of disappointed when like, they felt that they were so cool that they could cut their hair off. You know, like, we don't have to try anymore. No. Me having long hair for 30 fucking years means... I am still going to, con this is a sign of my faith in, in our fans. Once you change your image, you cut your hair off, you want to grow beards or spice through your nose, you know what? You're just disappointing your fans. It becomes, I don't want to make type of negative into a personal agenda. Type of negative for me has been a collective Four guys who have been friends even before Typo Negative. If you want to change the image, you know what? There are even worse bands than Typo Negative that will kick you out. I consider that to be the, the ultimate compliment. But these bands should look at like where my influences have come from. No, Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, ACDC, Judas Priest, 
60s music, even bands like Leibach, Einstein's in the Neubauten, Curve. I love 80s music. Duran Duran, Depeche Mode, The Cure. I mean, shit like that. Really good songwriting. So I do consider it a compliment that people are ripping off Tyra Negative. But you know what? Rip off the best. Rip off Black Sabbath. Play Black Sabbath albums backwards. And it says, I buried Pete, not Paul. I, I do take that as the ultimate compliment, yes. I mean, we, we only rip off the best. Beatles, Black Sabbath. Um, you know, I, I have not invented fire or, or the wheel, so I have to, to take from my foundation, which is like the bands that I mentioned. But Josh, Kenny, and Johnny have also brought in other influences. Um, Johnny and Kenny really like Kiss. You know, Josh is his Deep Purple thing and stuff. So it just, I think it really works out for the best. I think that that was probably truly the first typo negative album because Slow Deep and Hard was in fact a bunch of leftover carnivore songs. And, um, believe that people become a reflection of their experiences. So my life changed a lot between Carnivore and when Typo was uh, instigated. Let's just say from like 86, 87 to like 89 or 90, I started to listen to a lot of different music like The Cure, Curve, Lycia, um, Simple Minds, you know, people want to call that pussy music. Well, you know what? You call me a pussy, you are what you eat. That's, a, that's the perfect word, Lush. Um, I think that the whole... It was really shocking to, to, like, go from slow, deep, and hard with, you know, to, to playing in, in front of like a 90% skinhead audience to after Bloody Kisses came out to having like 80 like of the hottest women waiting in line outside of your bus. I'm like, the B-49 to Manhattan Beach doesn't stop here, sweetie. Like, what's the matter with these girls? And it's just like, so my point is, yeah, it did go to my head a little bit. I mean, not to sound disgusting, but I, but, but I will be honest then. I got more pussy in one week than I had gotten in the, like the first 30 years of my life. And I'm talking about, I'm not talking about kittens or cats. So, I went with the flow, but I do like October Rust for the mere fact that when I listen to the songs back, I like where I was psychologically. I've lost both of my parents, I miss them very much. I lost someone I love. Um, because I screwed up and at that time I had my mother, my father and her so when I listen to October Rust I, I think about where I was at the time and it's comforting but it's bittersweet because I fucked up well that's like Asking uh, a mother who has had seven children, which is your favorite? They're all different. But I have given birth to like mutated children, but they're still my favorites. I can't say which is my favorite because the songwriting process is a reflection of where I was at the time. So that's who I was at the moment.